Hello, friend. Welcome to TCT Today. You know, the Bible tells us to go into all the world and to preach the gospel. That's exactly what we're doing here at the TCT Network. We're going to talk more about that today. I want to encourage you to join us. If you need prayer at any time, please call the number on your screen, 800-232-9855. Listen, there is a prayer partner there ready to pray with you and agree with you for whatever you may be standing. If you've got a heavy burden today, stay with us. We want to believe God that that burden is going to be lifted through the power of prayer. Well, as always, I'm joined with Tom Nolan. Tom, good to see you back. Well, it's good to be back. And Judge, you kind of mentioned the Great Commission. And we talk about how TCT is accomplishing that through our broadcast ministry. But wanted to talk a little bit today about some of our missions outreaches and uh, something a little bit different than you may have heard us talk about when it comes to uh, missions. And of course, uh, our regular viewers and partners probably know about the six areas of focus that we have for missions. But we're going to go beyond that. And talk about some um, maybe different ways that you may not have uh, thought about that we are fulfilling the Great Commission. And we're also joined again by Pastor Chelsea T. Purnell. How are you doing today? I am doing amazing. How are you both doing on today? All is well. Good to be back. Good to be back. Let's do this. Let's have a conversation on today. I'm excited to hear about the mission because I love missions. I love outreaches. So let's just talk about dive right into it. Well, I'm excited about this because uh, we usually about once a week or so we'll talk about missions. And usually that's talking about doing things like building water wells over in remote villages in Africa or sponsoring orphanages or fighting human trafficking or uh, just sending missionaries out into the field or uh, dealing with homelessness right here in our own communities or, of course, our helping hand program. Those are kind of our areas of focus that we talk about. Uh, but really, uh, one way that we're uh, doing things with missions is not just uh, about what may be a uh, outreach program or uh, something uh, international, but of course, uh, the whole ministry of, of broadcast television is uh, a missions focus. Our prayer ministry is missions focus. But one thing that you may not really have the word missions pop in your mind when you hear us talk about, but really it is a mission field, is social media. And of course, we talk about how you can connect with us on the different social media platforms that are out there, and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, YouTube, and the different ways that we are out there on social media. And you may be sitting there saying, well, the, uh, social media is the opposite of missions. So social media is uh, just <laughs> awful. I, you know, it's all about <laughs> fighting and arguing, and, and there's just a bunch of negativity on social media. But that's why it should be a missions outreach for us. Well, it's, it's certainly a tool. And mm -hmm. it's a tool that can be used for good and it can be used for bad. Uh, and as believers, you have that choice. Now, we can all hide in our mother's basement and just type whatever we want nowadays. That's the <laughs> thing. But, you know, that's not what we should be doing. We should be using it as a platform to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what it's there for. And maybe share a few pictures of the family now and then, right? Uh, but we have an opportunity through the technology that we've been given in this time that we live to utilize it for the kingdom of God, to use this resource. Uh, it's not going away. It's continuing to grow and develop and become stronger and uh, more uh, developed like never before. And we feel it's important here at TCT to be a part of those social platforms. Why? Because that's where people are consuming uh, content as well. You know, uh, just recently uh, in our local little community here, uh, there was a little community a parade and event and we drove the TCT truck uh, into this lighted parade and there's probably 10,000 plus people there and it was wonderful to be able to connect with the local community and make that impact there in our local area. But when the social platforms and through broadcast ministry, we reach way beyond our local community. We reach into millions of people that we can touch with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we were looking up some statistics and let's talk about Facebook for just a minute. Now, some of you are like, I ain't getting, I understand. It's okay if you choose in your heart not to be a part of that. It's fine. Right. But those of you that want to be there and you feel uh, that that's something for you, 2.93 billion monthly active users as of, the, as of the second quarter of 2022. So think about that for a minute. Over 2 billion people actively using the Facebook. And we would be uh, a fool, you know, to not at least do something uh, to be there to where people are consuming content. Now, we're broadcasting the gospel and we're reaching millions and millions of people through broadcast. But this is another extension of our ministry as well as our prayer ministry and all that. 
is through the social platforms. And we have a team on staff that is uh, trying to keep all of you that actively use uh, these, these platforms to keep you updated on our programming, to put inspirational thoughts out there, to become a media missionary. That's what it's wow. all about. Guys, I can keep talking about this, but jump in anytime because Facebook is not the only place uh, that we share on these platforms. Well, it's not, and as you said, that number, it just kind of blew my mind because uh, I'm just thinking, you know, if that was a country, and of course, Facebook have, has users all over uh, the planet from every different country, but uh, if that was a country of 2.93 billion, I think you said it was, that would be the largest country in the world. So we have an opportunity to basically uh, go into that area. Now, we're probably not reaching every one of those almost three billion uh, people with our posts, uh, but it's a unique opportunity. I know on YouTube, for example, the, the social media team uh, just brought this out. This, this was incredible to me because yeah. when I think of social mm -hmm. media, I think of, well, it's a way to stay connected with people we already know, or uh, even if it's a ministry that we already know about, we can follow our church page and, and keep up to date with our church family and, and those types of things. And so I thought, well, that's a good added thing to the television broadcast to make sure we're reaching people where they're at. And it's another way to communicate and we receive messages. Uh, but they brought out for uh, our YouTube channel that almost 75%, uh, three out of four viewers basically of our YouTube wow. videos are not TCT viewers that then go on there to catch up on something they missed or to watch something, but they're uh, new people that have not connected with TCT. So this is really a whole separate yeah, um, wow. missions outreach. And, and Chelsea, it's, it's just exciting that we have this opportunity to reach so many people. I know, and then when you say 75%, so every time someone clicks on this TCT YouTube channel, we have an opportunity to present the gospel. That's right. That's right. I mean, we have the opportunity to present salvation, Jesus Christ. And, and I think that the media mission is, is needed in the hour that we're living in. We're not changing the gospel. We're changing the tools and the methods right. to be able to meet the people where they are and give them what they need. And people are clicking. Um, they are following. They are looking they're They have an appetite for information. And so when you click and you hear about the love of God and the love of Jesus Christ, um, we are just opening up an opportunity to bring someone to the body of Christ, to make Jesus Lord over their lives. And I think with the different platforms, we are meeting the needs of the next generation. I mean, whether we want to accept it or not, they are clickers and they are YouTubers. Um, they are on IG, they're on Facebook, um, and we need to reach those demographics as well. You know, those young people, they still need to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I think that with the content that we're providing with the varieties of shows, you know, once they click on, it's not just, you know, this, I don't go to church. I don't want to hear. I don't understand. But when they have relevant conversations about things that they can relate to, um, I think that they're more likely to listen to receive, and I think that we have to just use the people that we have that are missions, um, media missionaries, mm -hmm. and take advantage of this opportunity to cover the ground. We have to cover these airwaves with the gospel of Jesus Christ, and you have YouTubers that start out early in the morning <laughs> That's right. on YouTube, and so why not present them the gospel? Why not present them the good news that Jesus Christ loves them and meet them where they are? That's right. Consumer co of content. So they're consuming all kinds of content, entertainment, everything. And uh, some of it is not so good <laughs> that's out there. Well, a lot of it's not good. I mean, lots of millionaires have been uh, de um, grown and, and developed through social platforms by just being what we call influencers, coming up with something funny, coming something creative or something not so good uh, that people want to tune in and watch and consume that content. And then obviously they get paid for so many users that mm -hmm. uh, click on it. And so uh, a lot of people have, have become very influential through the social platforms. And so it's very important uh, as believers, however God calls you to do, I know many of you have started your own YouTube channels, you've done mm -hmm. various things uh, to reach people, to put 
put the message of the gospel out there. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, this tool uh, can be used uh, for the for the for the kingdom of darkness. And so it's very important that as believers that we're in those spaces, that we're putting our church services up there, we're yes. getting on sharing a message of hope. And uh, I would encourage you uh, not to use the platform to get on and cut down other ministries <laughs> because we see that. We see all kinds of just craziness out there. Um, but to bring a message of hope, to bring mm -hmm. a message of encouragement, to put something inspiring that's going to lift. I can't tell you how many times that I've clicked on something that was just a little message of encouragement is just what I needed to hear that hear day. That day. And somebody posted a scripture or something. Man, I needed that scripture uh, that day. You never know how you're going to make a difference in someone's life. And with over 2.6 billion monthly YouTube users, think about that for a minute. There is a lot of people using these platforms. So this really is an extension of our it mission is. outreach to get the gospel out, to share. So here's what we want you to do. We're going to talk more about it. We want to encourage you to go to the TCT's YouTube page, Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, if whichever platform you like the most. And many of you are on multiple ones. We understand that. Uh, but <laughs> But like TCT, follow TCT, share TCT, because why? You're not going to get bad stuff. You're not going to get uh, anything cutting down other people or, other, you know, you're going to get encouragement. You're going to get hope. You're going to get uh, updates of what's happening around the network so you can stay informed about what's going on. So we want to encourage you to go to the TCT pages and be sure to like and subscribe and follow. Absolutely, and and share the posts. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's one thing. Going back to that, uh, you know, three out of four viewers basically on the YouTube channel being new to TCT and um, you know not having previously watched or connected yeah. with us and not subscribed to us. Uh, you know, I think that's because we have people sharing that page. Now, I will say this about our social media because a lot of uh, ministry, not just ministries, businesses, you know, that there's uh, ways that you can kind of pump up your numbers. Uh, basically just kind of buying likes and that sort of thing and uh, or you can spend a big uh, budget promoting and, and things and TCT's never done that. We've uh, done what they call kind of organically growing our social media. So when we go on there and we see who's actually watching, it's real people that have actually connected and decided right. to like uh, the page. And, and we're not interested in pumping up the numbers artificially. We just want to know that we're reaching people with the gospel. And so thinking about that. Hey, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life. So you can email your prayer request to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.